Kosovo, or, officially the Republic of Kosovo, slash, is a partially recognized state in southeastern Europe. It lies at the center of the Balkans, occupying an area of, with a population of 1.8 million, and is bordered by the uncontested territory of Serbia to the north and east, North Macedonia to the southeast, Albania to the southwest, and Montenegro to the west. Kosovo unilaterally declared its independence from Serbia on the 17th of February 2008 and has since gained diplomatic recognition as a sovereign state by 98 member states of the United Nations. Most of central Kosovo is dominated by the vast plains and fields of Mitahu in Kosovo, the rugged accursed mountains and Sa mountains rise in the southwest and southeast, respectively. In classical antiquity, the central tribe which emerged in the territory of Kosovo were Dardani, who formed an independent polity known as the Kingdom of Dardania in the 4th century BCE, it was annexed by the Roman Empire by the 1st century BCE, and for the next millennium the territory remained part of the Byzantine Empire, whose rule was eroded by Slavic invasions beginning in the 60th 70th century and, in the centuries thereafter control of the area alternated between the Byzantines and the First Bulgarian Empire. By the 13th century, Kosovo became the core of the of Serbian medieval state, and has also been the seat of the Serbian Orthodox Church from the 14th century, when its status was upgraded to a patriarchate. Ottoman expansion to the Balkans in the late 14th and 15th century led to decline and fall of the Serbian Empire. The Battle of Kosovo of 1389 is considered to be one of the defining moments in Serbian medieval history. The Ottoman Empire ruled the area until the early 20th century. In the late 19th century, Kosovo was the center of the Albanian national awakening. Following their defeat in the Balkan Wars, the Ottomans ceded Kosovo to Serbia and Montenegro. Both countries joined Yugoslavia after World War I and following a period of Yugoslav unitarianism in the kingdom, the post-World War II Yugoslav constitution established the autonomous province of Kosovo and Mitahe within the Yugoslav constituent Republic of Serbia. Tensions between Kosovo's Albanian and Serb communities simmered through the 20th century and occasionally erupted into major violence, culminating in the Kosovo War of 1998 and 1999 which resulted in the withdrawal of the Yugoslav army, the establishment of the United Nations Interim Administration Mission in Kosovo and the Declaration of Independence in 2008. Serbia does not recognize Kosovo as a sovereign state and continues to claim it as its constituent autonomous province of Kosovo and Mitaha, although it accepts governing authority of the Kosovo institutions as a part of the 2013 Brussels Agreement. Kosovo is a developing country. With an upper middle income economy, it has experienced solid economic growth over the last decade by international financial institutions, and growth every year since the onset of the financial crisis of 2007 to 2008. Kosovo is a member of the International Monetary Fund, World Bank, and has applied for membership of Interpol and for observer status in the Organization of the Islamic Cooperation. Etymology the entire region that today corresponds to the territory is commonly referred to in English simply as Kosovo and in Albanian as Kosovo definite form, or indefinite form. In Serbia, a formal distinction is made between the eastern and western areas, the term is used for the eastern part centered on the historical Kosovo field, while the western part is called Mita and known as Dukagjini in Albanian, Kosovo is the Serbian neuter possessive adjective of goes, blackbird, an ellipsis for Kosovo Bol, blackbird field, the name of a plain situated in the eastern half of today's Kosovo and the site of the 1389 Battle of Kosovo Field, the name of the plain was applied to the Kosovo province created in 1864. Albanians also refer to Kosovo as Dardania, the name of an ancient kingdom and later Roman province which covered the territory of modern-day Kosovo. The name is derived from the ancient tribe of the Dardani, possibly related to a proto-Albanian word Dada, which means bear. 
The former Kosovo president Ibrahim Rugova had been an enthusiastic backer of a Dardanian identity and the Kosovan flag and presidential seal refer to this national identity. However, the name Kosovo remains more widely used among the Albanian population. The current borders of Kosovo were drawn while part of Yugoslavia in 1945, when the autonomous region of Kosovo and Metohi 1945-1963 was created as an administrative division of the new People's Republic of Serbia, in 1963, it was raised from the level of an autonomous region to the level of an autonomous province as the autonomous province of Kosovo and Metohi 1963-1968. In 1968, the dual name Kosovo and Metohi was reduced to a simple Kosovo in the name of the socialist autonomous province of Kosovo. In 1990, the province was renamed the autonomous province of Kosovo and Metohi. The official conventional long name of the state is Republic of Kosovo, as defined by the Constitution of Kosovo, and is used to represent Kosovo internationally. Additionally, as a result of an arrangement agreed between Pristina and Belgrade and talks mediated by the European Union, Kosovo has participated in some international forums and organizations under the title Kosovo with a footnote stating this designation is without prejudice to positions on status and is in line with UNSC 1244 and the ICJ opinion on the Kosovo Declaration of Independence. This arrangement, which has been dubbed the Asterisk Agreement, was agreed in an 11-point arrangement agreed on 24 February 2012. History Early Development The strategic position including the abundant natural resources were favorable for the development of human settlements in Kosovo, as is highlighted by the hundreds of archaeological sites identified throughout its territory. The first archaeological expedition in Kosovo was organized by the Austro-Hungarian Army during the World War I in the Illyrian Tumuli burial grounds of Nepobishti within the district of Prizren. Since 2000, the increase in archaeological expeditions has revealed many, previously unknown sites. The earliest documented traces in Kosovo are associated to the Stone Age, namely there are indications that cave dwellings might have existed, as for instance the Radivich Skaf close the spring of the Drin River, then there are some indications at Grunkar Cave in the municipality of Vitina and the Dima and Karamakats Caves in municipality of Peju and others. Human settlement during the Paleolithic has not yet been confirmed by archaeological expeditions. The earliest archaeological evidence of organized settlement, which have been found in Kosovo, belong to the Neolithic Starsvo and Vinca cultures. Vlashenj and Runic are important sites of the Neolithic era. The rock art paintings at Mrizi Iko Badges, near Vlashenj, are the first find of prehistoric art in Kosovo. Amongst the finds of excavations in Neolithic runic is a baked clay ocarina, which is the first musical instrument to ever be recorded in Kosovo. The Dardani were the most important Paleo-Balkan tribe in the region of Kosovo, a wide area which consists of Kosovo, parts of northern Macedonia and eastern Serbia was named Dardania after them in classical antiquity. The eastern parts of the region were at the thraco illyrian contact zone. In archaeological research, Illyrian names are predominant in western Dardania present-day Kosovo, while Thracian names are mostly found in eastern Dardania present-day southeastern Serbia. Thracian names are absent in western Dardania, some Illyrian names appear in the eastern parts. Thus, their identification as either an Illyrian or Thracian tribe has been a subject of debate, the ethno-linguistic relationship between the two groups being largely uncertain and debated itself as well. The correspondence of Illyrian names, including those of the ruling elite, in Dardania with those of the southern Illyrians suggests a Thracianization of parts of Dardania. The Dardani retained an individuality and succeeded to maintain themselves as a community after Roman conquest and they played an important role in the formation of new groupings in the Roman era. The Roman state annexed Dardania by the first centuries. The importance of the area lay in its mining potential Metla Dardana which was heavily exploited in the centuries as highlighted by the large mining complex of Municipium Dardanorum and the designation of part of the region as an imperial mining district. Kosovo was part of two provinces, Praevalitana and Dardania. 
Alpiana is the most important municipium which developed in Kosovo. It was refounded as Justiniana Secunda under Justinian in the 6th centuries. Middle Ages. In the next centuries, Kosovo was a frontier province of the Byzantine Empire. The region was exposed to an increasing number of raids from the 4th century and onward, culminating with the Slavic migrations of the 6th and 7th centuries. There is one intriguing line of argument to suggest that the Slav presence in Kosovo and southernmost part of the Morava Valley may have been quite weak in the first one or two centuries of Slav settlement. Only in the 9th century do we see the expansion of a strong Slav or quasi-Slav power into this region. Under a series of ambitious rulers, the Bulgarians, a Slav population which absorbed, linguistically and culturally, its ruling elite of Turkic Bulgars, pushed westwards across modern Macedonia and eastern Serbia, until by the 850s they had taken over Kosovo and were pressing on the border of Rasi. The first Bulgarian Empire acquired Kosovo by the mid-9th century but Byzantine control was restored by the late 10th century. In 1072, the leaders of the Bulgarian uprising of Georgi Vojta traveled from their center in Skopje to Prizren and held a meeting in which they invited Mihailo Vojislav Ljevic of Dukla to send them assistance. Mihailo sent his son, Constantine Bodin with 300 of his soldiers. After they met, the Bulgarian magnates proclaimed him emperor of the Bulgarians. The uprising was defeated by Nikephoros Bryennios. Demetrios Chomatnos is the last Byzantine Archbishop of Orid to include Prizren in his jurisdiction until 1219. Stefan Nemanjou had seized the area along the White Drin in 1185-95 and the ecclesiastical split of Prizren from the Patriarchate in 1219 was the final act of establishing Nemanjic rule. Constantin Jisek concluded. From the correspondence of Archbishop Demetrios of Orid 1216-36, that western Kosovo, in particular the Gjakova and Prizren areas, was part of the northeasternmost area of Albanian settlement prior to the Slavic expansion. The zenith of Serbian power was reached in 1346, with the formation of the Serbian Empire 1346-1371. During the 13th and 14th centuries, Kosovo became a political, cultural and religious center of the Serbian kingdom. In the late 13th century, the seat of the Serbian archbishopric was moved to Pager, and rulers centered themselves between Prizren and Skopje, during which time thousands of Christian monasteries and feudal-style forts and castles were erected. Stefan Dusen used Prizren Fortress as one of his temporary courts for a time. When the Serbian Empire fragmented into a conglomeration of principalities in 1371, Kosovo became the hereditary land of the House of Brankovic. In the late 14th and the 15th centuries parts of Kosovo, the easternmost area of which was located near Pristina, were part of the Principality of Duke Kagini, which was later incorporated into an anti-Ottoman federation of all Albanian principalities. The League of Les Medieval Monuments in Kosovo is a today combined UNESCO World Heritage Site consisting of four Serbian Orthodox churches and monasteries. The constructions were founded by members of Nemanjic dynasty, the most important dynasty of Serbia in the Middle Ages. Ottoman rule. In the 1389 Battle of Kosovo, Ottoman forces defeated a coalition led by Lazar of Serbia. Some historians, most notably Noel Malcolm, argue that the Battle of Kosovo in 1389 did not end with an Ottoman victory and Serbian statehood did survive for another 70 years. Soon after, Lazar's son accepted Turkish nominal vassalage as did some other Serbian principalities and Lazar's daughter was married to the Sultan to seal the peace. By 1459, Ottomans conquered the new Serbian capital of Smedrevo, leaving Belgrade and Vojvodina under Hungarian rule until second quarter of the 16th century. Kosovo was part of the Ottoman Empire from 1455 to 1912 at first as part of the Isle of Romelia, and from 1864 as a separate province Violet. During this time, 
Islam was introduced to the population, the violet of Kosovo was an area much larger than today's Kosovo, it included all today's Kosovo territory, sections of the Sanzak region cutting into present-day Sumadio and western Serbia and Montenegro along with the Kuks municipality, the surrounding region in present-day northern Albania and also parts of northwestern North Macedonia with the city of Skopje then Uskup, as its capital. Between 1881 and 1912 its final phase, it was internally expanded to include other regions of present-day North Macedonia, including larger urban settlements such as Stipistip, Kumanova Kumanova and Kratova Kratova. According to some historians, Serbs likely formed a majority of Kosovo from the 8th to the mid-19th century. Nevertheless, this claim is difficult to prove as historians who base their works on Ottoman sources of the time give solid evidence that at least the western and central parts of Kosovo had an Albanian majority, the scholar Frederick F. Anscombe shows that Prizren and Vucit and Volsitrin had no Serbian population in early 17th century, Prizren was inhabited by a mix of Catholic and Muslim Albanians, while Vucit had a mix of Albanian and Turkish speakers, followed by tiny a Serbian minority, Gjakova was founded by Albanians in the 16th century, and Pager Ipek had a continuous presence of the Albanian Kelmendi tribe, central Kosovo was mixed, but large parts of the Drenica valley were ethnically Albanian, central Kosovo, as well as the cities of Prizren, Gjakova, and the region of has regularly supplied the Ottoman forces with levies and mercenaries, in the early 16th century. A large migration of Albanians into Kosovo resulted in a sizable ethnic Albanian presence in some parts of western Kosovo which continued into the next century. Historian Noel Malcolm challenges this view, using Ottoman documents that recorded migrants coming into the Kosovo region from the 15th to the 18th century and Albanian Catholic sources from the 17th century of northern Albania which recorded migrations out of the region. Malcolm argues majority of the migrants into the Kosovo region during this period were not Albanian. The population of Kosovo was also much bigger than that of northern and central Albania and its rate of growth lower. Kosovo was part of the wider Ottoman region to be occupied by Austrian forces during the Great War of 1683-99, but the Ottomans re-established their rule of the region. Such acts of assistance by the Austrian Empire then arch rivals of the Ottoman Empire, or Russia, were always abortive or temporary at best. In 1690, the Serbian Patriarch Arsenai III led thousands of people from Kosovo to the Christian North, in what came to be known as the Great Serb Migration. Anscombe casts doubt on the fact that this exodus affected Kosovo, since there is no evidence that parts of Kosovo were depopulated. Evidence of depopulation can only be found in areas between Niz and Belgrade, some Albanians from Skopje and other regions were displaced in order to fill some areas around Niz. But there is no evidence that such events took place in Kosovo. In 1766, the Ottomans abolished the Patriarchate of Pajil and fully imposed the Jizya on its non-Muslim population, although initially stout opponents of the advancing Turks. Albanian chiefs ultimately came to accept the Ottomans as sovereigns, the resulting alliance facilitated the mass conversion of Albanians to Islam, given that the Ottoman Empire's subjects were divided along religious rather than ethnic lines, Islamization greatly elevated the status of Albanian chiefs, prior to this, they were organized along simple tribal lines living in the mountainous areas of modern Albania from Gru to the Sar range. Soon, they expanded into a depopulated Kosovo, as well as northwestern Macedonia, although some might have been autochthonous to the region. However, Banak favors the idea that the main settlers of the time were Vlachs. Centuries earlier, Albanians of Kosovo were predominantly Christian and Albanians and Serbs for the most part coexisted peacefully. The Ottomans appeared to have a more deliberate approach to converting the Roman Catholic population of whom were mostly Albanians as compared to adherents of Eastern Orthodoxy who were mostly Serbs, as they viewed the former less favorably due to its allegiance to Rome, a competing regional power, in the 19th century. 
there was an awakening of ethnic nationalism throughout the Balkans, the underlying ethnic tensions became part of a broader struggle of Christian Serbs against Muslim Albanians. Although they generally desired the continuation of the Ottoman Empire, Albanian ambitions competed with those of the Serbs, the Kingdom of Serbia wished to incorporate this land that had formerly been within its empire. The modern Albanian-Serbian conflict has its roots in the expulsion of the Albanians in 1877-1878 from areas that became incorporated into the Principality of Serbia, during and after the Serbian-Ottoman War of 1876-78, between 30,000 and 70,000 Muslims, mostly Albanians, were expelled by the Serb army from the Sanjak of Niz and fled to the Kosovo Violet, according to Austrian data. By the 1890s Kosovo was 70% Muslim nearly entirely of Albanian descent and less than 30% non-Muslim primarily Serbs. Kingdom of Yugoslavia The Young Turk movement took control of the Ottoman Empire after a coup in 1912 which deposed Sultan Abdul Hamad II. The movement supported a centralized form of government and opposed any sort of autonomy desired by the various nationalities of the Ottoman Empire, an allegiance to Ottomanism was promoted instead, an Albanian uprising in 1912 exposed the empire's northern territories in Kosovo and Novi Paza, which led to an invasion by the Kingdom of Montenegro. The Ottomans suffered a serious defeat at the hands of Albanians in 1912 culminating in the Ottoman loss of most of its Albanian inhabited lands. The Albanians threatened to march all the way to Salonika and reimpose Abdul Hamid. A wave of Albanians in the Ottoman army ranks also deserted during this period, refusing to fight their own kin. In September 1912, a joint Balkan force made up of Serbian, Montenegrin, Bulgarian and Greek forces drove the Ottomans out of most of their European possessions. The rise of nationalism hampered relations between Albanians and Serbs in Kosovo, due to influence from Russians, Austrians and Ottomans. After the Ottomans' defeat in the First Balkan War, the 1913 Treaty of London was signed with Western Kosovo Mita he ceded to the Kingdom of Montenegro and Eastern Kosovo ceded to the Kingdom of Serbia. Soon, there were concerted Serbian colonization efforts in Kosovo during various periods between Serbia's 1912 takeover of the province and World War II. So the population of Serbs in Kosovo fell after World War II, but it had increased considerably before then. An exodus of the local Albanian population occurred. Serbian authorities promoted creating new Serb settlements in Kosovo as well as the assimilation of Albanians into Serbian society. Numerous colonist Serb families moved into Kosovo, equalizing the demographic balance between Albanians and Serbs. In the winter of 1915-16, during World War I, Kosovo saw the retreat of the Serbian army as Kosovo was occupied by Bulgaria and Austria-Hungary. In 1918, the Allied powers pushed the Central Powers out of Kosovo. After the end of World War I, the Kingdom of Serbia was transformed into the Kingdom of Serbs. Croats and Slovenians On 1 December 1918, Kosovo was split into four counties, three being a part of Serbia's Vikan, Kosovo and Southern Mitahu and one of Montenegro Northern Mitahu. However, the new administration system since 26 April 1922 split Kosovo among three districts oblast of the kingdom, Kosovo, Raska and Zita. In 1929, the country was transformed into the Kingdom of Yugoslavia and the territories of Kosovo were reorganized among the Banat of Zita, the Banat of Morava and the Banat of Varda. In order to change the ethnic composition of Kosovo, between 1912 and 1941 a large-scale Serbian recolonization of Kosovo was undertaken by the Belgrade government. Meanwhile, Kosovar Albanians' right to receive education in their own language was denied alongside other non-Slavic or unrecognized Slavic nations of Yugoslavia, as the kingdom only recognized the Slavic Croat, Serb, and Slovene nations as constituent nations of Yugoslavia, while other Slavs had to identify as one of the three official Slavic nations while non-Slav nations were only deemed as minorities. In 1935 and 1938 two agreements between the Kingdom of Yugoslavia and Turkey were signed on the expatriation of 240,000 Albanians to Turkey, 
which was not completed because of the outbreak of World War II. After the Axis invasion of Yugoslavia in 1941, most of Kosovo was assigned to Italian-controlled Albania, with the rest being controlled by Germany and Bulgaria. A three-dimensional conflict ensued, involving inter-ethnic, ideological, and international affiliations, with the first being most important. Nonetheless, these conflicts were relatively low level compared with other areas of Yugoslavia during the war years, with one Serb historian estimating that 3,000 Albanians and 4,000 Serbs and Montenegrins were killed, and two others estimating war dead at 12,000 Albanians and 10,000 Serbs and Montenegrins. An official investigation conducted by the Yugoslav government in 1964 recorded nearly 8,000 war-related fatalities in Kosovo between 1941 and 1945, 5,489 of whom were Serb and Montenegrin and 2,177 of whom were Albanian. It is not disputed that between 1941 and 1945 tens of thousands of Serbs, mostly recent colonists, fled from Kosovo. Estimates range from 30,000 to 100,000. There had been large-scale Albanian immigration from Albania to Kosovo which is by some scholars estimated in the range from 72,000 to 260,000 people with a tendency to escalate, the last figure being in a petition of 1985. Some historians and contemporary references emphasize that a large-scale migration of Albanians from Albania to Kosovo is not recorded in Axis documents. Communist Yugoslavia The province as in its outline today first took shape in 1945 as the autonomous Kosovo Mitohin area, until World War II. The only entity bearing the name of Kosovo had been a political unit carved from the former violet which bore no special significance to its internal population. In the Ottoman Empire which previously controlled the territory, it had been a violet with its borders having been revised on several occasions. When the Ottoman province had last existed, it included areas which were by now either ceded to Albania, or found themselves within the newly created Yugoslav republics of Montenegro or Macedonia including its previous capital, Skopje with another part in the Sanzak region of southwest Serbia. Tensions between ethnic Albanians and the Yugoslav government were significant, not only due to ethnic tensions but also due to political ideological concerns, especially regarding relations with neighboring Albania. Harsh repressive measures were imposed on Kosovo Albanians due to suspicions that there were sympathizers of the Stalinist regime of Inver Hoxha of Albania. Islam in Kosovo at this time was repressed and both Albanians and Muslim Slavs were encouraged to declare themselves to be Turkish and emigrate to Turkey. As a result of these reforms, there was a massive overhaul of Kosovo's nomenclature and police that shifted from being Serb-dominated to ethnic Albanian-dominated through firing Serbs in large scale. By the 1974 constitution of Yugoslavia, Kosovo was granted major autonomy, allowing it to have its own administration, assembly, and judiciary, as well as having a membership in the collective presidency and the Yugoslav parliament, in which it held veto power. In the aftermath of the 1974 constitution, Concerns over the rise of Albanian nationalism in Kosovo rose with the widespread celebrations in 1978 of the 100th anniversary of the founding of the League of Prizren. Protests by Albanians in 1981 over the status of Kosovo resulted in Yugoslav territorial defense units being brought into Kosovo and a state of emergency being declared resulting in violence and the protests being crushed, even though they were disproved by police statistics. The protests were brutally suppressed by the police and army, with many protesters arrested. During the 1980s, ethnic tensions continued with frequent violent outbreaks against Yugoslav state authorities, resulting in a further increase in emigration of Kosovo Serbs and other ethnic groups. The Yugoslav leadership tried to suppress protests of Kosovo Serbs seeking protection from ethnic discrimination and violence. Kosovo language. After the Tito-Stalin rift in 1948, the relations between Stalinist Albania and Yugoslavia were also broken. Language policy was of utmost importance in communist Yugoslavia, 
which after World War II was reorganized as a federation of ethno-linguistically defined nations, in emulation of the interwar Soviet nationalities policy. For instance, in 1944, the Macedonian language was proclaimed for the sake of distancing form of Ardaban Ovina, which was incorporated into wartime Bulgaria, from Bulgarian language and culture. Likewise, in post-war Yugoslavia's socialist autonomous province of Kosovo, the local Albanian language was distanced from Albania's standard steeped in Tosk, by basing it on the Kosovar dialect of Gig. As a result, a standard Kosovar language was formed. However, after the rapprochement between Albania and Yugoslavia at the turn of the 1970s, Belgrade adopted Albania's Tosk-based standard of the Albanian language, which ended the brief flourishing of the Gag-based Kosovar language. Breakup of Yugoslavia and Kosovo War Inter-ethnic tensions continued to worsen in Kosovo throughout the 1980s. In 1989, Serbian President Slobodan Milosevic, employing a mix of intimidation and political maneuvering, drastically reduced Kosovo's special autonomous status within Serbia and started cultural oppression of the ethnic Albanian population. Kosovar Albanians responded with a non-violent separatist movement, employing widespread civil disobedience and creation of parallel structures in education, medical care, and taxation, with the ultimate goal of achieving the independence of Kosovo. In July 1990, the Kosovo Albanians proclaimed the existence of the Republic of Kosovo, and declared it a sovereign and independent state in September 1992. In May 1992, Ibrahim Rugova was elected its president in an election in which only Kosovo Albanians participated. During its lifetime, the Republic of Kosovo was only officially recognized by Albania. By the mid-1990s, the Kosovo Albanian population was growing restless, as the status of Kosovo was not resolved as part of the Dayton Agreement of November 1995, which ended the Bosnian War. By 1996, the Kosovo Liberation Army KLA, an ethnic Albanian guerrilla paramilitary group that sought the separation of Kosovo and the eventual creation of a greater Albania, had prevailed over the Rugova's non-violent resistance movement and launched attacks against the Yugoslav army and Serbian police in Kosovo, resulting in the Kosovo War. The situation escalated further when Yugoslav and Serbian forces committed numerous massacres against Kosovo Albanians, such as the Prikaz massacre in which one of the KLA founders Adem Jashiri was surrounded in his home along with his extended family. In total 58 Kosovo Albanians were killed in this massacre, including 18 women and 10 children, in a massacre where mortars were fired on the houses and snipers shot those who fled. This massacre along with others would motivate many Albanian men to join the KLA. By 1998, International pressure compelled Yugoslavia to sign a ceasefire and partially withdraw its security forces. Events were to be monitored by Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSS observers according to an agreement negotiated by Richard Holbrook. The ceasefire did not hold and fighting resumed in December 1998, culminating in the Rakak massacre, which attracted further international attention to the conflict. Though NATO could not appeal to any particular motion of the Security Council of the United Nations to help legitimize its intervention, during the conflict, roughly a million ethnic Albanians fled or were forcefully driven from Kosovo. In 1999 more than 11,000 deaths were reported to the Office of the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia prosecutor Carla Del Ponte. Some 3,000 people were still missing of which 2,500 are Albanian, 400 Serbs and 100 Roma. By June, Milosevic agreed to a foreign military presence in Kosovo and the withdrawal of his troops. During the Kosovo War, over 90,000 Serbian and other non-Albanian refugees fled the war-torn province. In the days after the Yugoslav army withdrew, over 80,000 Serb and other non-Albanians civilians almost half of 200,000 estimated to live in Kosovo were expelled from Kosovo, and many of the remaining civilians were victims of abuse. After Kosovo and other Yugoslav wars, 
Serbia became home to the highest number of refugees and IDPs including Kosovo Serbs in Europe. In some villages under Albanian control in 1998, militants drove ethnic Serbs from their homes. Some of those who remained are unaccounted for and are presumed to have been abducted by the KLA and killed. The KLA detained an estimated 85 Serbs during its the 19th of July 1998 attack on Orahovac. 35 of these were subsequently released but the others remained. On the 22nd of July 1998, the KLA briefly took control of the Belasevac mine near the town of Obilik. Nine Serb mine workers were captured that day and they remain on the International Committee of the Red Cross's list of the missing and are presumed to have been killed. In August 1998, 22 Serbian civilians were reportedly killed in the village of Kleka where the police claimed to have discovered human remains and a kiln used to cremate the bodies. In September 1998, Serbian police collected 34 bodies of people believed to have been seized and murdered by the KLA, among them some ethnic Albanians, at Lake Radonjic near Glodanglugjan in what became known as the Lake Radonjic Massacre, during and after the 1999 war. Over 300 Serb civilians who were taken across the border into Albania were killed in a yellow house near the town of Burl and had several of their organs removed for sale on the black market. These claims were investigated first by the ICTI who found medical equipment and traces of blood in and around the house. They were then investigated by the UN who received witness reports from many ex-UK fighters who stated that several of the prisoners had their organs removed. The chief prosecutor for the ICTI, Carla Del Ponte, revealed these crimes to the public in her book, causing a large response. In 2011, a French media outlet Apostrophe France 24 Apostrophe released a classified UN document written in 2003 which documented the crimes. The International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia ICTI prosecuted crimes committed during the Kosovo War. Nine senior Yugoslav officials, including Milosevic, were indicted for crimes against humanity in war crimes committed between January and June 1999. Six of the defendants were convicted, one was acquitted, one died before his trial could commence and one Milosevic died before his trial could conclude. Six KLA members were charged with crimes against humanity and war crimes by the ICTI following the war, but only one was convicted. In total around 10,317 civilians were killed during the war, of whom 8,676 were Albanians, 1,196 Serbs and 445 Roma and others in addition to 3,218 killed members of armed formations. Post-war On 10 June 1999, the UN Security Council passed UN Security Council Resolution 1244, which placed Kosovo under transitional UN administration UNMIC and authorized Kosovo Forsk for a NATO-led peacekeeping force. Resolution 1244 provided that Kosovo would have autonomy within the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, and affirmed the territorial integrity of Yugoslavia, which has been legally succeeded by the Republic of Serbia. Estimates of the number of Serbs who left when Serbian forces left Kosovo vary from 65,000 to 250,000. Within post-conflict Kosovo Albanian society, Calls for retaliation for previous violence done by Serb forces during the war circulated through public culture. Widespread attacks against Serbian cultural sites commenced following the conflict and the return of hundreds of thousands of Kosovo Albanian refugees to their homes. In 2004, prolonged negotiations over Kosovo's future status, socio political problems, and nationalist sentiments resulted in the Kosovo unrest. 11 Albanians and 16 Serbs were killed, 900 people including peacekeepers were injured, and several houses, public buildings and churches were damaged or destroyed. International negotiations began in 2006 to determine the final status of Kosovo, as envisaged under UN Security Council Resolution 1244, the UN-backed talks, led by UN Special Envoy Marti Artizuari, 
began in February 2006. Whilst progress was made on technical matters, both parties remain diametrically opposed on the question of status itself. In February 2007, Artai Zawari delivered a draft status settlement proposal to leaders in Belgrade and Pristina, the basis for a draft UN Security Council resolution which proposed supervised independence for the province, a draft resolution, backed by the United States, the United Kingdom and other European members of the Security Council, was presented and rewritten four times to try to accommodate Russian concerns that such a resolution would undermine the principle of state sovereignty. Russia, which holds a veto in the Security Council as one of five permanent members, had stated that it would not support any resolution which was not acceptable to both Belgrade and Kosovo Albanians. Whilst most observers had, at the beginning of the talks, anticipated independence as the most likely outcome, Others have suggested that a rapid resolution might not be preferable. After many weeks of discussions at the UN, the United States, United Kingdom and other European members of the Security Council formally discarded a draft resolution backing Artai Zawari's proposal on 20 July 2007, having failed to secure Russian backing. Beginning in August, a troika consisting of negotiators from the European Union Wolfgang Ischinger the United States Frank G. Wisner and Russia Alexander Botsenkarchenko launched a new effort to reach a status outcome acceptable to both Belgrade and Pristina, despite Russian disapproval. The U.S., the United Kingdom, and France appeared likely to recognize Kosovar independence. A declaration of independence by Kosovar Albanian leaders was postponed until the end of the Serbian presidential elections 4 February 2008. A significant portion of politicians in both the EU and the US had feared that a premature declaration could boost support in Serbia for the nationalist candidate, Tomislav Nikolic. Provisional self-government. In November 2001. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe supervised the first elections for the Assembly of Kosovo. After that election, Kosovo's political parties formed an all-party unity coalition and elected Ibrahim Rugovo as president and Bajram Riksapi PDK as prime minister. After Kosovo-wide elections in October 2004, the LDK and AK formed a new governing coalition that did not include PDK and ORA. This coalition agreement resulted in Ramush Haradinajak becoming Prime Minister, while Ibrahim Rugova retained the position of President. PDK and ORA were critical of the coalition agreement and have since frequently accused that government of corruption. Parliamentary elections were held on 17 November 2007. After early results, Hashim Thassi who was on course to gain 35% of the vote, claimed victory for PDK the Democratic Party of Kosovo, and stated his intention to declare independence. Thassi formed a coalition with current President Fatma Sejdi Uz Democratic League which was in second place with 22% of the vote. The turnout at the election was particularly low. Most members of the Serb minority refused to vote. After declaration of independence, Kosovo declared independence from Serbia on 17 February 2008 recognized its independence, including all of its immediate neighbors, with the exception of Serbia. However, 15 states have subsequently withdrawn recognition of the Republic of Kosovo. Russia and China do not recognize Kosovo's independence. Since declaring independence, it has become a member of international institutions such as the International Monetary Fund and World Bank, though not of the United Nations. The Serb minority of Kosovo, which largely opposes the Declaration of Independence, has formed the Community Assembly of Kosovo and Mita in response. The creation of the Assembly was condemned by Kosovo's President Fatma Sejdiu, while Unmik has said the Assembly is not a serious issue because it will not have an operative role. On 8 October 2008, the UN General Assembly resolved, on a proposal by Serbia to ask the International Court of Justice to render an advisory opinion on the legality of Kosovo's declaration of independence. The advisory opinion, which is not binding over decisions by states to recognize or not recognize Kosovo, was rendered on the 22nd of July 2010, 
holding that Kosovo's declaration of independence was not in violation either of general principles of international law, which do not prohibit unilateral declarations of independence, nor of specific international law, in particular UNSCR 1244, which did not define the final status process nor reserve the outcome to a decision of the Security Council. Some rapprochement between the two governments took place on 19 April 2013 as both parties reached the Brussels Agreement, an agreement brokered by the EU that would allow the Serb minority in Kosovo to have its own police force and court of appeals. The agreement is yet to be ratified by either parliament. Governance Kosovo is a multi-party parliamentary representative democratic republic, it is governed by legislative, executive and judicial institutions which derive from the constitution, although, until the Brussels Agreement, North Kosovo was in practice largely controlled by institutions of Serbia or parallel institutions funded by Serbia, legislative functions are vested in both the parliament and the ministers within their competencies, the government exercises the executive power and is composed of the prime minister as the head of government the deputy prime ministers and the ministers of the various ministries, the judiciary is composed of the supreme court and subordinate courts, a constitutional court, and independent prosecutorial institutions, there also exist multiple independent institutions defined by the constitution and law, as well as local governments, it specifies that Kosovo is a secular state and neutral in matters of religious beliefs, freedom of belief, Conscience and religion is guaranteed with religious autonomy ensured and protected, all citizens are equal before the law and gender equality is ensured by the constitution. The constitutional framework guarantees a minimum of 10 seats in the 120 member assembly for Serbs, and 10 for other minorities, and also guarantees Serbs and other minorities places in the government. The president serves as their head of state and represents the unity of the people, elected every five years, indirectly by the parliament through a secret ballot by a two-thirds majority of all deputies. The head of state invested primarily with representative responsibilities and powers. The president has the power to return draft legislation to the parliament for reconsideration and has a role in foreign affairs and certain official appointments. The Prime Minister serves as the head of government elected by the Parliament, ministers are nominated by the Prime Minister, and then confirmed by the Parliament, the head of government exercises executive power of the territory, corruption is a major problem and an obstacle to the development of democracy in the country, those in the judiciary appointed by the government to fight corruption are often government associates, moreover, Prominent politicians and party operatives who commit offences are not prosecuted due to the lack of laws and political will. Organised crime also poses a threat to the economy due to the practices of bribery, extortion and racketeering. Foreign Relations and Military The foreign relations of Kosovo are conducted through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Pristina, 98 out of 193 United Nations member states recognise the Republic of Kosovo within the European Union, it is recognized by 22 of 27 members and is a potential candidate for the future enlargement of the European Union, Kosovo is member of several international organizations including the International Monetary Fund, World Bank, International Road and Transport Union, Regional Cooperation Council, Council of Europe Development Bank, Venice Commission and European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. In 2015, Kosovo's bid to become a member of UNESCO fell three votes short of the two thirds majority required to join. Almost 21 countries maintain diplomatic missions in Kosovo. 